Hello YouTube, welcome back to Thronebreaker. Last time we cleared basically, yep, north northern part of the map, so now we're moving into a new area past the river. You spy that column of smoke? God damn it! Make haste! As the Clayton estate appeared from behind a tree line, the Queen and all in her retinue knew at once they had arrived too late. A veritable swarm of bandits milled about the yard. Who have we here? I'll take a gander, lads. The Queen herself is deigned to come and see us. See you? Then kill you? The strays of Sparla? Tis you who lead them. Tis you they call the Duke of Dogs. Aye. Tis I they dub so, and in other pleasant ways. Prince of Pariahs, Thane of Thieves, Baron of Brigands, and Marquess of Mendacity. Colourful titles all, yet you omit one. Come on, cutthroat! I beg your pardon and cry foul! I am anything but common! You needn't get excited, Caldwell. Where is Lord Clayton? Sadly, my lord's no longer with us. Turned us away, you see. Denied us hospitality. A sacred rite, after all. Angered the gods mightily, I expect, as he promptly met a tragic end. Fell in the well and broke his neck. I've heard enough. Two arms! Attack! Yep, let's go. Meave's soldiers were seasoned warriors. They had served in many campaigns, fought on many fronts. Still, the strays of Svala caused them great unease. The brigands, howling like wild wolves, wild dogs, did not fight with ordinary sword nor spear, but with executioner's axes, boards with rusty nails, and instruments of torture. Their faces concealed behind ghastly prison masks. So we need to kill this guy optionally. Surround gets gone with powerful units, okay. Let's see. I think these will be very helpful. Uh... Neither will this one actually, because that will spawn weak units. What say we throw this queen a ball? This could hurt. <coughs> Stand back. <coughs> this is some alchemical concoction. Okay. So what can this guy do? Before turn start, if the sum of adjacent units' power is higher than self, damage off by 3. Ah, that's why I'm supposed to do that. Every turn on turn start, move to a random position and damage units by 2. Oh, Jesus. This harvest will be reaping black clad heads. Your heads. <laughs> My spirit's willing and how, but these damn boots are killing me. So if he moves down, he's already trapped. Now we need a strong unit to get this up. Should 
should have actually placed that first and I would have damaged someone more. Okay. Good stuff. So he will automatically get damaged already on the next turn. Keep calm, Tiberius. So let's place one here. A time to show. And one here. Well, well. My congratulations. So now he will get damaged again, and pretty much anywhere he moves, he should be fucked. Mm. No time for that. Yeah, he's pretty much crapped. Give me a time. I'm gonna get you. to your command. We already got you fucked. You're screwed, buddy. I'm a monster. Yes, we got him. Bravo, your grace. Well played. I can't say the same for you, I fear. You'd have done better to die in battle. Bound for Lyria now, where the hangman will have his way with you. Splendid! I've ever wished to see the capital. Quite certain of yourself, you seem. Many a four you have braided nooses for me, your grace. Yet as you see, my neck's straight as a pike. My threats are never hollow. And if it's an escape you weigh, well, we've yet to see any man abscond from the dungeons of Lyria Castle. I'd hope so. For to be known as second just wouldn't be worth the trouble. Hmm. Ugh. Take him away. As soldiers placed the Duke of Dogs in shackles, there was a sudden commotion. A messenger rushed in, sweaty, gasping for air, smelling of smoke and blood. His gaze spoke terror. Your Majesty, Graces, Nilfgaard's crossed the Yoruga. Black-clad hordes, villages burn, folk lie murdered. Nilfgaard, gods help us. They march for Dravagrad. Prince Willem, he can't hope to arrive in time with aid. Help us. You must. Dravagrad. Blast it all. Listen close, soldier. You're to take a fresh mount, ride hard back to your commander, and say the Queen comes to repel the foe. Your Grace, begging your pardon. I'm a force. We aren't many. Let's send for reinforcements first. Elsewise. Reynard. I've seen Nilfgaard's trebuchets at work. Should we delay until we're stronger, they'll leave no stone standing in Dravagrad. We must ride for the town at once. As her men prepared to march, 
Meave climbed the manor's tower. Smoke rose in columns in the distance. As more black pillars appeared one after the other, she knew they meant another home, another barn, another mill was in flames. Tears welled in her eyes, yet they were tears of anger. Bastards. If it's war they seek, it's war I shall bring them. Reynard, prepare to ride! This guard has been added to your her okay. Yeah, move guard. Hmm. First bandits, now this. Misfortune does indeed come knocking twice. Hmm. In hobnail boots, tramping upon my land. Nilfgaard shall regret this. I swear on all that is sacred and blessed. Well, we'll see, shall we? Um, let me actually see. I think we can actually extend something now. At least the number of trinkets that might be useful. This armor could also be useful. Hmm. Let's go for this one first. Because then we can actually add this one. And get rid of one Wagenburg, yeah. Although, let's actually uh, keep one of those. Get rid of one drummer. I have too many of those. Um, yeah, I think that works better. The war wagon. Yeah, it's not useful in every battle, but it's pretty useful nonetheless. Your Highness, the guardians march towards our city, burning everything in their path. They've siege towers, batting, battering rams, catapult, ballista, the three full infantry regiments. With reinforcements, we shan't hold them off. Without reinforcements, we shan't hold them off for more than a day. And we've heard nothing back from the capital, nor seen any sign of extra troops. Please, my lady, save us. Yeah. Okay, there's still just that guy. We don't need any training. So the next thing that we can do is expand the workshop. And that's pretty much it. Because this stuff is actually... Um, I think this stuff is optional. I mean, increasing her speed, that's nice and all. But that's a little bit too much gold for that little use that we get out of that. I mean... Just exploring the surroundings here, making sure we haven't missed anything over here. Yeah, not really. Okay, his estate is pretty much burned down completely. That's nice. Suddenly. Meave's force found itself marching straight towards a Nilfgaardian company. To the Queen's surprise, the invaders did not immediately assume battle formation. They proceeded instead in her very direction without a sign of panic. The man leading the Nilfgaardians was clad in rich robes. He exuded pride 
and the scent of musk. I am Traherne Vardifir, Your Majesty. I was asked to present Your Esteemed Grace the ultimatum of the forces of the Empire of Nilfgaard. Ah, you know. Where you know? The envoy cracked the seal on a scroll, unfurled it, took a deep breath, and began to read. I, General Ardal Ebdahi, demand the immediate and unconditional surrender of Lyria and Rivia. Elsewise, I will burn down every city, town, village, and temple, place all your subjects in chains, and your armed men, defeated and captured, I will hang along the roadsides as a warning to all others in the barbarous north. Wow. That's some ultimatum. As the final threat echoed in Meave's ears, the envoy put away the scroll and stood waiting for her answer, a mocking smile on his face. He allowed himself this insolence, believing the immunity accorded diplomats would shield him from any form of royal ire. Well, we will actually respect that, otherwise we're actually going to confirm the barbarous nature, but yeah, we will give you an answer. I thank you, sir. A sophisticated missive that proves beyond a doubt Nilfgaard's superiority over the culturally backward north. Answered the Queen in a voice frostier than Mahakam's snow-capped peaks. To delay this matter I see no reason, so I give you my response to His Excellency. Go ahead and try, Horson. That said, Meave slapped her mount with her reins and galloped away, leaving the Nilf Guardians in dust. Envoy and escort turned to go whence they came, the Lyrians sending them off with a din of whistles and curses. Yeah. But yeah, I'm not gonna uh, kill an envoy. Arrogant as he may be. Town. I did the toilets formerly under Lord Clayton's service wish to join our army. In a few hours, I can teach them which end of the spade to point at the enemy. It's simply a matter of coin. Yeah, we'll actually do that. Interesting, interesting. There's something here, there's something there, and there's a puzzle there. Actually gonna conserve the scouts for now. I actually see where... We go for the castle. There's an entire huge area. Uh, to be uncovered. I think this one is actually the smaller area, so let's go for this one first. Oh, great. War gives way to myriad odd odors. Char, blood, muck, yet rotting flesh is the worst of it. Strong winds carry the stench far, provoking fear in the hearts of simple folk and whetting the appetites of bloodthirsty monsters. So eliminate all the ghouls and use my leader's ability. Hint, have faith in your most loyal units. 
So I'm supposed to use the loyal ability. I get it. Every two turns, on turn start, consume a unit from your graveyard and boost self by three. Yeah, I don't think so. This is not gonna work. Need to use that one in a key moment. So first of all, we need to get rid of this guy. That's no question whatsoever. Ballista, your command. Probably ah! used that too early. Yeah, this is not going to work. I'm a monster. I have an idea on how this could work. I have an idea on how this could actually work.
I'm still not sure how I'm gonna do this. One bolt. to somehow get them to the same level and then scorch them all. Let's see... So this guy is gonna boost itself by 3 on the second turn, then it's gonna be at 15. So we need to bring him down 4. I think I know how to do that. Give me a time. Okay, that was different than I expected it to be. Anyway. We need to get to bring him down to 15. Abolista, your command. Yeah, if you think this can work. I think this could nah crap. He's gonna push himself again next turn. Yeah. Still, this could actually... Ah, crap, I fucked that up. I fucked that up! I actually did it the right way around. Give me a time. Abolista, your command. There we go. Now. I'm a monster. Yes! There we go. That's how it's done. Proclamation. Inhabitants of conquered territories are henceforth informed that any attempt to impede the imperial war effort shall m be met with punishment of the highest severity. El Kazir, blah 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 blah. Command of Army Group East.
Well, anyway, I think that says it all. We're gonna explore a little bit next, more next time. So until then, keep your heads up, folks. I'll see you on the next one.